What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Today, we are diving into a head-to-head -head battle between two of the most popular calendar applications out there, Google Calendar and Samsung Calendar. Both are fantastic for keeping your life organized, but they have some pretty big differences that might make one a better fit for you. We are going to break down some key differences in simple terms. So by the end of the video, you will know exactly which one to choose for your daily scheduling needs. Before we go ahead, if you are interested in these beautiful looking wallpapers that you see on the home screen, you can check them out on Volvo's application. We have got some beautiful looking wallpapers which get refreshed almost every day. So if you're interested in customizing your phones, then you must have Volvo's on your device. The link is in the description. Go ahead and check it out. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated with everything that's happening around your phone. And do not forget to hit the like button. Let's reach at least a thousand likes for the video. Now, without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. First up, let's talk about where you can actually use these calendars. Google Calendar is a true cross-platform champion. Whether you are on an Android phone, on an iPhone, a tablet, or even just your web browser on a computer, Google Calendar is there, ready to sync your schedule instantly across all your devices. It's built to be accessible everywhere, even offering offline access so you can check your events without an internet connection. Now, Samsung Calendar, on the other hand, is much more tied to its home turf. It comes pre-installed and works best on Samsung phones and tablets, and even on Samsung laptop. There is no dedicated website for it, so if you want to access it on a desktop, you will usually need to connect your Samsung device to your computer using something like Samsung Dex. Next, let's look at the user interface and how much you can customize them. Google Calendar keeps things clean, simple, and efficient. It follows Google's Material U design, which means it looks consistent and modern across different Android devices. You get standard views like day, week, month, and scrollable schedule view, and you can color code your events to keep things organized. It's all about straightforward functionality and ease of use. But when it comes to Samsung Calendar, it offers a more personalized and visually rich experience, especially if you love customizing your device. It's intuitive and easy to use with a default monthly view, and all your reminders will be available right below that monthly view as you can see here. And you can add fun themed stickers to your events for birthdays or anniversaries, and plus, it can show you weekly weather forecasts right in your calendar and supports various lunar calendars, which is a very cool feature. When it comes to widgets, Samsung offers transparent, stackable widgets with a unique live event countdown feature. So if you want a clean, consistent look, Google is great. But if you want to really make your calendar your own with unique visual touches, Samsung might be more your style. As you can see, when you go to the Samsung calendar settings, we have got customization options here. We've got change calendar style option. When I tap on this, you can change the event font size here. You can see I've got a slider using which I can increase or decrease the event font size. And I can also change the event colors. You've got options like muted, bright, very bright, and very muted. And we also have options like highlight, short events, toggle, and we can also let event titles wrap by enabling this toggle. And you can also change the alert background. As you can see, we have got this alert background option. When there is a reminder or an event shown, you will get the alert background that you choose from these options. We've got some cool color gradients here. And if you want a specific image, you can choose that from the gallery. Let's say you have selected your mom's birthday. And uh, if you want your mom's photo to come up on the reminder, then you can just go to the gallery and select that image. That's a pretty cool customization we have got on Samsung Calendar application. So Samsung Calendar is highly customizable, but that versatility you will not see on the Google Calendar. Now let's take a look at the usability. On Google Calendar, when you tap on this plus button, you get three options, birthday, task, and event. Task is nothing but a reminder that you can set on Google Calendar. And we have dedicated option for birthday and we have got event option. And here on Samsung Calendar, you can see we have got a text box here and we have got plus button here. When you tap on the plus button, it will directly take you to this page where we have got two options. On top, you can see we got event and reminders. Both can be created right here by switching between these two tabs here. And the best part is here when you tap on the text box, we get some suggestions as well. You can see it says concert next Saturday and you can just type in here whatever uh, event or reminder that you want. Let's say friend's birthday. And you can see when I type time, it suggests me some time here. Let's say I will just tap on 12 p.m. Now you can see this event has been scheduled automatically. It says tap the highlighted text if you don't want your event to be scheduled automatically. I can tap on this if I don't want to schedule it, if I just want to set it as reminder or uh, text. And if you want to schedule it, I can just say 12 p.m. and automatically it gets scheduled. And I can just tap on this tick mark here and it will get saved. 
So that's how you do it on Samsung. But when it comes to Google Calendar, we've got three options. Let me tap on event. And this is where we can create event task and birthday. It's something similar to the one you are eight. Now you can see when I tap on plus button, we've got event and reminder. And here on Google calendar, we've got event task and dedicated birthday space as well. Or you can directly enter this birthday space right from here. When you're uh, creating a reminder by tapping on plus button, you can directly enter a birthday or task here, or you can tap on event and then create an event. At the same time, you can also go to task or birthday to create those events as well. Now let's compare the event creation here. As you can see, it looks pretty much the same. We have got the date and time option right here. We can select all day right here and we have got the timing and we have got do not repeat option here. Let me just tap on this. We've got similar options and we've got some additional options over here. We've got video conferencing, add location, and all these options are available on both. And you can see we have got an option to add Google Drive attachment. We have got the attachment option here as well. And we also have video conferencing option right here. Now let's compare creating the task on Google application and reminder on Samsung calendar application. You can see the options are pretty much the same. You can create the title on Google Calendar. We can select a specific email ID, but that we do not get to choose here on this page. Whatever email ID that you have selected by default on the settings will remain the same. Whereas on Google Calendar, we get to choose the email ID, which is pretty cool. Now, the biggest advantage on the Samsung Calendar application is it offers three levels of alert priority. As you can see, when I tap on this alert priority, which is medium right now, it has got options like light, medium and strong. Now on this, on the Google Calendar, we don't have such option. It will only notify you about the reminder. Whereas on Samsung, if you set strong, you get full screen alert and long sound so that you don't miss that reminder. We generally tend to miss the reminders when it is shown on the notification or on the lock screen. But here on Samsung, it starts ringing strongly and it will also display the reminder on this entire screen and it will remain there until you clear it. So that is the biggest advantage on the Samsung Calendar. Next, we have got the recycle bin or trash on Samsung calendar application. You can tap on the three dot button and tap on the settings option here. When you scroll down, you will see recycle bin, which is enabled. This will keep deleted events for 30 days. If you want to go back and check those events, you can always check that for the last 30 days, all the events will be available on the phone's app itself. Whereas on the Google application, Google calendar application, we do not have recycle bin or trash right here on the uh, phone's application. However, we can access the trash on Google Calendar website on a computer. But not having that option on the mobile app is a bummer on the Google's calendar application. Now last but certainly not least, let's talk about privacy, data storage and security. This is a big one for many people. Google Calendar by default doesn't offer end-to-end -end encryption for your event data. This means Google can technically access your event details like titles and descriptions. And while they say they don't use it for ads, they do analyze it to improve features. Your data is encrypted when it's moving around and when it's stored, but Google holds the encryption keys. They can also be legally compelled to share your data with third parties, including law enforcement. For Google Workspace users, there is client-side encryption, but it has limitations and needs to be enabled by an administrator. Now coming to Samsung Calendar, it primarily stores data locally on your device, but it can sync to Samsung Cloud. Here's a key differentiator. Samsung Cloud offers enhanced data protection, which provides end-to-end -end encryption for your synced data, including calendar events. This means Samsung doesn't hold the encryption keys. You generate and store a recovery code yourself. The Samsung calendar application itself even states no data shared with third parties. However, be aware that Samsung cloud data might be deleted if it's unused for more than 12 months. So if privacy and having control over your encryption data are top priorities, then Samsung calendar with enhanced data protection offers a stronger default. Now these are the key differences between these two applications. You let me know which one you prefer using and let me know the reasons why. I generally prefer using Samsung calendar application because for me, it's very intuitive, looks pretty cool, customizable, and Samsung offers enhanced data protection feature as well. That I feel is one of the biggest advantages that we have over Google calendar application. That's my choice. You let me know what do you think, drop a comment and while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and do not forget to download our wallpaper application Volvers. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.